Hey beauties, it's your girl Daisy here. Welcome to my channel. If you already know, and if you're not, thanks for returning. Today I have this beautiful pre-highlighted bob, like, oh my gosh. Becky, <laughs> this wig is flawless. It's from Uni's Hair, I love it. It was actually, I believe like 12 inches and I cut off a few inches to make it fit my face. I just wanted a really cut, sleek bob and that's exactly what I got. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and how I installed this wig, then keep on watching. So here we have the packaging from Uni's Hair. I love them. They have great quality hair and they gave me a wig cap. It's actually too light for me, so I won't be using that in this video. And here is the actual wig out the packaging. I love, love, love these highlights hair is so pretty and flowy i love how the hair is actually brown and then it has those blonde highlights so it looks way more natural and it's perfect for the summer i just love it and i'd love to show you guys a close-up of the frontal and the wig so you can actually know what you will be purchasing and this is a 13 by 6 parting space with some combs so you can do a glueless install so here we have our wig. I cut it off camera, made it into this cute little bob. And I also, did I pluck the knots a little bit? I plucked the knots just a tad bit and I straightened it, but I'm gonna bump it a little bit more so everything's all even. I just wanted to show you guys this lace. It is a little bit on the darker side and it doesn't come all the way down towards my sideburn. It's probably gotta fix this a little bit so it's a little bit shorter. Keep that in mind if you have a bigger head like me. But we're just gonna install it. I'm gonna cut off the lace and then just glue it down. So I'm back y'all, it's day two. As you can see, I got my nails done. It's been so long, oh my gosh, Corona is killing my hands. I was tired of looking at my little nubs. So I went and got my hair done and, well, not my hair done, what am I talking about? I went and got my nails done. And this is actually day two of this wig. So all I did was just cut some of these baby hairs in the front, cause I didn't do it. This was actually yesterday that I had a nail appointment and I was taking too long to do this video so I said you know what I'm gonna just install it tomorrow so here we are so I'm trying to get an idea of what kind of style I'm gonna do I might just do a middle part I love these highlights they're so pretty the thing is this wig sticks up a lot in the middle I'm gonna show you guys how to get this super flat so it looks natural and I love the way I cut it gave me a nice little box cut and it fits, fits my face super cute so this lace is way darker than my skin tone, keep that in mind. So I was gonna do some baby hair, but maybe we aren't, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Um, it was straightened a little bit, so I just gotta straighten it some more. So first I'm gonna take my wax butter. Y'all know I gotta smell this, it smells so good. It smells like mango. Yeah, it does say mango butter, yeah. And just brush it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my hot comb. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Argan Oil Spray ODX. I don't know how I do, new, new.
So here we have the final look. Again, it's from Uni's hair. This hair is bomb. First, I already did a review on the longer style with these highlights. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you check it out. It's gonna be in the description box. And now I have the bob. Super gorgeous. Look at these highlights. It's so pretty. I love it. I cut it to more like an eight inch bob because I want to fit my face and I did exactly that. This is cute, perfect for summer, especially because wigs could be a lot in the summer. Like you don't want them to sweat off or anything, but this is a great wig to do a glueless install. And also it doesn't hit your shoulders or it's hardly on your neck. So if you wear this wig, you're not going to be hot. So this is definitely going to be one of my go-to wigs. Um, let's see, this is the parting space. I did pluck it. I just pulled out some hairs so it can look more natural because the parting space was like really close together. Um, now it looks more natural and I put some concealer in the parting space and I just did a few little swoops of these baby hairs and boom, we good. Nothing too crazy, just making it look natural and just super cute. Um, this parting space, I believe, I believe it's 13 by six because it goes all the way back. I'm gonna have, again, all the information in the description box. I do so many wigs. I just wanna make sure that I'm on point. I'm saying the right thing, I believe so, but don't quote me, look in the description box. Now, one thing I would say is this lace is a little bit darker than my skin tone, so if you're darker than me, it's perfect. If you are my color or lighter, you may want a lighter um, lace, or you can just put some pressed powder in there, which is what I did, and it looks natural. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show your girls some support. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And until my next video, bye.